in this video we are going to analyze the uh, 2d vertical frame under horizontal load and the material uh, property that is given for design is uh, fe 500 and uh, fck 25 mpa and uh, clear cover is uh, 20 mm with this we need to start the analysis by clicking on to new project click on to space then type 2 d underscore frame underscore horizontal horizontal then we need to check into the location where we are going to save the file and uh, after that the units of this uh, portal frames is uh, in uh, meter and uh, forces should be in uh, kilo newton click next then uh, we should uh, tick the uh, add beam and the in the box and uh, after that we need to click finish after entering into the Tired uh, pro analysis. We need to wait for a few minutes. After that, we need to click on to this uh, slap snap node beam. We need to close this one. Then we need to type the coordinates of the nodes by uh, center zero comma zero comma zero. Then we need to type zero comma height is 3 meters click on to that one then uh, 0 comma then 0 comma 6 we need to type this one these are the single column having a two floors this node should be connected and made a column by selecting into this add beam select this add beam and connect these nodes one by one these are the columns of the frame then click escape then uh, we need to translate this in uh, x direction so we need to select this beam on columns then go to geometry translation repeat select translation repeat x direction and here the spacing is a 4 meter and we need to link the steps and open the base and click ok so this is the portal frame having a height 3 meter and width is 4 meters only then we need to change into view then we need to deselect this elements by clicking on to this window then here we need to go to uh, uh, we need to go to material properties so and we need to assign uh, supports and loads uh, that we can do by go into general then properties create uh, we need to create the uh, column so we need to define this one We'll go to rectangle and uh, the column is 0. Point depth of the property 0 0.45 0 0.45 click add then we need to close this one here uh, the size of the column and beams are same so hence we need to select assign to view and click so we have assigned the material properties uh, to the this uh, portal frame now we now we need to create a support for this we need to go to general support create here we need to create two types of support one is fixed and another one is pinned first one is click on to the fixed click add then again create click on to the pinned add so we are going to assign this fixed support to the left of the support left of the support then click on to this single node and select assign to selected node is automatically comes up 
and next one is click on to the hinged support click on to this node then again it will be highlighted then so we have fixed and hinged support after that one we need to go to uh, general and load definition for applying the loads click on to the general load definition then load cases click add then here in the drop down menu we need to click dead load dead we need to type dl dl click add then we need to uh, select live in the drop down menu then type ln click add so close that one we know we should not close it so we have one more step that is we need to select auto load combination select is uh, indian standard code indian indian code then generate the load combination this is automatic load generation then click on to add and close that one now we need to add the loads like udl and uh, uh, point load into that one so for that one we need to uh, select dead load highlight that one click add then we need to select the self weight y direction click add now we need to close this one here um, click on to the self weight then uh, assign to view assign is throughout the building frame so we need to assign to the overall structure then click on to the live load click add then uh, go to the member load member load here uh, uniformly distributed load is there load is there having a having a unit of uh, unit of 20 kilo newton 20 kilo newton which is in the direction of uh, x it is in the direction of x and uh, it is not acting against the direction of x it is acting towards the direction of x so we we'll click add click add then we have a nodal load nodal load that is uh, uh, point load on the nodes that uh, we have fx is one is towards that one is 25 we need to click add another one is 10 kilo newton 10 kilo newton we need to click add so we'll close this loads then we will click on to the uniformly distributed load just we'll unhighlight all the selected uh, frames by clicking on to this one just uniformly distributed load and uh, we'll use cursor to assign then assign here we can see that here load is assigned in the x direction so here we need to change this edit uh, i should have changed in global x direction change that one and here we can see that the load is assigned in x direction then we need to apply the point load we need to select already it is in the assign mode so no need to click again 25 will be in the top then bottom we need to select this node this node which will be 10 kilo newton per meter so with this uh, we have applied the load now we are ready for analysis command command analysis perform analysis all okay then command post analysis analysis result yes analyze run analysis save yes so after doing that one we need to check any errors are there before proceeding into the design so we don't have any error so click done we will stay in the modeling mode only then click on to the design go to concrete concrete 
and uh, here we need to select IS456 and then we need to select the parameters we don't want all the parameters one we need clear cover uh, we have to have a clear distance between the surface of the member and the and this clear cover we want then FC compressive strength of the concrete we want and the FI main we want so three parameters are required and click OK then we need to move on to the define parameters where we need to define the parameters here a clear cover we need to make it 20 mm so 20 divided by 1000 so 0 0.020 click add then uh, FC is uh, 25 25,000 25, click add then FI main is uh, 500 500,000 one two three click add so we need to close this one here uh, we need to click on to the clear cover and uh, assign to click on to assign to view yes. then fc assign to click on to assign to view yes. then fi main click on to assign view after that we need to design beams and columns so we will move on to commands design beam click add click on to the design column click add then we will uh, use the takeoff also click add close after that uh, uh, we will uh, apply the property to the beams by clicking on to by clicking on to uh, horizontal geometry uh, translation repeat uh, select beams parallel to x then uh, design the beams so we then we need to unselect by clicking on to this window then select design column go to the select beams parallel to y then automatically assigned to selected beams are selected then click yes with this uh, design part is over then we will click on to assign run analysis save yes with this uh, we have completed the analysis and design of 2d frame under horizontal uh, load we will look into the output file click done so here we can see the design parts where beam design is there beam design and uh, here we can see the uh, column designs also column designs column design in the end we are going to see the quantities of uh, steel uh, required with this uh, we are completing the uh, output file view of the analysis then we'll move on to the reserve post processing mode by clicking on to mode go to post processing we don't want dead load and live load we'll move to the left then we'll click ok with this uh, we are entered into post processing mode where we can see the support reaction click on to the node reaction then we can see the results where uh, bending moment shear force forces and bending moments of the support can be seen here after that uh, we can see the displacement uh, in the y direction uh, with this uh, column here now we are moving into the bending moment where we can see the bending moment and uh, bending moment of this portal frame just by double clicking on to this one we can see the uh, shear force force uh, bending moment uh, diagram where we can uh, see for different uh, 
uh, load combinations you can see at uh, what position bending moment and shear forces are there we can see that we can change the load combinations we can select the maximum bending moment out of this uh, load combination and then we'll click close after that uh, here we can see the uh, values of bending moment go to result view value click beam result here click on to the maximum bending moment annotated here we can see the maximum bending moments maximum bending moment click close then uh, we can see the shear force diagram by right clicking on to the labels then we'll move to load results here we'll fill this one then shear yy we'll uncheck this bending zz click apply and uh, click ok by this is the shear force diagram of this portal frame we can apply values by clicking on result view value beam result uncheck this one click maximum annotate here we can see the shear force values of this portal frame we can remove all this and close this finally we are moving into the animation where we can see the displacement animation we will click on to the animation section displacement scales scales displacement will change the scale to the 10 click apply and uh, click ok with this uh, we can see the displacement of the portal frame under horizontal load with this uh, we are completing this problem